Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, KGFL Creations. Today, I want to talk to you about the muslin of my first pair of pants. It didn't come out as great as I hoped it would be, but who am I kidding? <laughs> it never comes out the, the straight out of the box. I, like I told you before, I did uh cut i printed the legato by the legato jeans by love notions i printed i put it together and i cut the whole pattern i then picked up that white um stretch denim that i received from a uh, fabric fabric wholesale direct this the piece that had the stain actually the stain is all the way to the bottom you know, my daughter helped me. She kind of traced it around so I know where it was and I had no trouble uh, cutting it. So I was able to cut it and I did sew it together and I put everything. I am going to insert some pictures for you guys to see right now. And then after the pictures, I will insert a little video. At first, I made it just as they tell you in the uh, uh, little printout book she has they have the instructions and then they have another booklet on how to fit the jeans which was very very interesting it tells you to do a muslin first so that's what i did a very dirty i think that's what they call it dirty muslin you just cut it don't do the pockets or anything make the uh, um she said that to make the uh waist just one piece. I ended up cutting two pieces because I had the uh, fabric there, so I cut the two pieces. So no pockets, nothing in the back. I did cut the yoke in the back. I, by my measurements, I did cut the size 18 for the hips, and yeah, 18 for the hips, and I did grade up to the waist for a size 20. But as you can see in the pictures and also on the little video that I'm going to put out, the waist turned out way big. I have about one inch that I can take out of the waist. So I am next, my next muslin, I am going to cut out a size 18 for the whole thing or maybe I will go down even to a size 16 because as you can see in the little uh, video that I have right now, the front looks pretty good. I did use a yellow <laughs> zipper. My husband kept asking me why, is that gonna be the zipper? Is the zipper gonna be that way? And I told him, no, the zipper is not going to be that way. This is just a uh, little try on zipper, something pretty quick, just for me to see how it's uh, gonna fit. As you can see in the back, look at all that ease that I have back there. I did add half an inch to the crotch length in the back. So I guess I did not need that half an inch. And as you can see in the bottom, there's a lot of folds right there. I used the um, curvy piece for the back, which has a little bit of extra fabric for the uh, back leg in the crotch so i think i'm going to have to change that and use the regular not the curvy and uh, yeah i mean on the side it looks good but i think it's a bit too big with the stretch i think i don't know i think i might just do a size 16 and see how this goes look at that it's a bit too much. The front looks really good. I do like the front. But the front, I did it on a size 20. Maybe next time, if I go down to a size 18, I'm going to have to see how that looks. Yeah, you can see my tummy. I'm going to sit down and want to see 
how it feels in the back. I'm thinking. I guess, yeah, I guess it, it's okay. So this is it right here. My white muslin. I know there's, you won't be able to see much because of the lights here. But like I was saying, I am going to have to remove the half inch that I added here to the back. I'm going to have to undo this whole thing. I'm going to unpick this whole thing. So this is the second week that I will be unpicking something. This is going to be tough because actually it's not going to be that bad. I used the top, uh, the thread that I purchased to top stitch my uh, Athena's jacket, my corduroy jacket. So I used that on this whole thing so it'll be easier for me to see if I needed to unpick and I do need to unpick. Yeah, I mean, I am pleasantly surprised at how this came out, but yeah, now I have to go to muslin number two. And then after that, whatever happens to that muslin, then I'm gonna go and cut it and make a pair of jeans. Don't know how long this is going to be. I have to measure the length. I'm gonna pull a pair of pants. Actually, I did make a little video with a capri because I wanted to see the difference in the back because I don't see the back, all those wrinkles. I do have some wrinkles on that pair of pants. I did show it to my husband and he's like, well, there are wrinkles, but it's a bit rounded in the back. So I might have to pull out that pair of pants, put it on top of this one and see what is the difference with the uh, crotch curve, the crotch curve and see if I can make it a little bit better. Yeah, but I do like the fabric. I am not sure if I will make the straight waist or the curved waist yeah i am debating that but i'm going to first the first muslin it will be the straight straight uh waist and then after that i will decide what i am going to do yeah so that's it wanted to show you guys i am very very happy that i was able to make this i did go to joanne's didn't purchase much they had a sale going on so I did purchase zippers I ended up purchasing a white zipper I purchased a nine inch they did not have a seven inch this pattern calls for six inch so I'm going to have to pull out these little uh, brass tabs here in the top so we'll see how that one goes yeah so I bought a white one for my white uh, stretch denim and I also purchased a green one but this is an all-purpose zipper I did not see a green one uh, for jeans but since that one is not as thick as this denim here that is a 12 so I decided to buy an all-purpose zipper and it's a seven inch and I will try to make pants out of that one too and I also purchased they had the sale going on like I said I purchased top stitching thread I bought white white top stitching thread and I also purchased green top stitching thread I hope this matches if it doesn't it's okay if it's a little bit different you know just to show up as top stitching and that's all I purchased I've been good actually I went to the Joanne said it's pretty old and ugly and doesn't have much and to be honest with you they did not have much in there I was surprised I don't know what's going on with Joanne's I hope they're not going to close I really 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 hope that they're not going to close at least the little ugly ugly Joanne's they still have um, notions for uh, for us to purchase if I need fabric or something I would have to go to the other Joann's which is about I would say maybe 20 minutes away from me that Joann's it's a good one they have a lot of stuff there and I try not to go there because I don't want to buy any more fabric now with all of this muslin business going on I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos 
I did watch a bunch of videos by Jay Stern Designs. She has videos on the top down center out, top top down center out, and she also has a bunch of other videos on how to uh, fix all the bunching and drag lines and this and that and this and that. So I have been watching a lot of her videos lately and I think I know what I'm going to do with this. Hopefully by my next video, I can show you something. If not, then it's going to be a week. Another thing that I wanted to tell you guys, you see, I am still in here. I am still in my sewing room. I'm so happy that my husband did not come in any year yet asking me to put everything away. <laughs> I'm crossing my fingers that I can stay here for another week. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, that's all I had for you today. If you liked this video, please hit that like button below. And if you can please subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. I will see you on my next video. Bye.